I'm going to be making this edit in this video in 5 minutes, so these are called TikTok edits, they are I'd say pretty easy to make, all you need to do really is use presets, that's the main goal here. I started two new accounts, so I've opened up a TikTok account called Anger.pr, PR stands for Premiere Pro, you know how a lot of editors put AE at the end, which stands for After Effects, I've done the same, but with Premiere, so Anger.pr, same goes with Instagram, so Anger.pr, new account. Because I want to separate my main edits from TikTok edits, I feel like they're not, they really aren't on the same level, that which is, you know, obvious, but since they are so easy, easy to make i can mass produce them and just keep on posting on both platforms to grow my channel the thing is i actually haven't made an edit yet so you're going to be watching me make my first edit and it's going to be a quick edit on sakuna from jujutsu kaisen so the first thing to do is to get your clips i've searched up sakuna twixter so generally speaking i would just grab like a scene uh, or clip pack from youtube like this one and then just convert it to mp4 i can't give you any names for converters because you know youtube will take my video down but all i will do is copy it and then just paste it and download it simple however i actually do have some some clips ready so i've got them here i twixted these myself for a previous edit it was a very quick one but i may as well use it again for this example so yeah these are the clips now first of all before uh, let me just stop that let's assume stage one is done so i've gathered my clip awesome now i'm going to make my sequence so file new sequence i'm just going to name it main doesn't really matter change the sequence settings so usually what people do is they go for a time base of 60 frames per second now unfortunately my clips are i think 24 or 30 and although it will you know it will, it will look fine um when i add transitions but it won't look as smooth because you know the clips are 20 uh, was it 24 frames per second and the only way to fix that is to uh, sort of i guess you could say re-interpolate it and you know that's going to end up looking horrible but uh, let's try it anyway so let's go 60 uh i think it's is it 1080 by 1080 most edits i think some are 1080 by 1440 but let's leave it at that then I'm going to add on my clips and also, uh, let me just keep existing settings, add on the music. Okay, so I've just cut down my audio to my desired segment, so this is what it is going to sound like. Take a listen. I've also added my clips onto the timeline. Now what I need to do is cut these down. So I think the first one is actually on beat, so let me just play it. Yeah, that's pretty much on beat, I'd say. So all I need to do is make a few minor adjustments. So the beat is, I think, right here. I'm just going to place a marker. I don't usually use markers, but I think it would be useful for this kind of edit. So that's where the beat is. And I need to cut it down. So I could speed it up. So if I just make my cut there, this is the first clip here. So I'm just going to speed it up, maybe like 125. I'm going to speed it up until the edge of this hits the marker. So let's go maybe 130. 30 that might be a bit too much no that's almost perfect you know what we can leave it at that i'm going to repeat this method with my other clips and i'll be right back all right this is what i've got let me just remove this single marker where is it okay it's not working for some reason so i'm just going to leave it but this is what i have these are my clips And yeah, I know that some of these aren't in sync, but it's fine. It's just, you know, a test edit, I guess you could call it. Let's assume I'm halfway done. So I've still got a few more minutes left and I can add on some effects. So twitch shakes, uh, glitches and anything else. What I could do is add on, let's say, transform to make some twitch shakes. So I did actually make a tutorial on this. So scale at the beginning, maybe like 100 and let's go if it would work, 125 and then reset it um, somewhere around here. Graph it like so and then keyframe the position and keep on changing the value every few frames so if i just move it to a corner one two and then move it to another corner just here on the other side also turn up the motion blur so what did i actually do like what did i set out before was it 180 something like that but that is way too much effort i am not going to be doing that for every single edit i'm going to be using presets for my edits i'm going to be using my shake and a transition pack which i released not so long ago so you know i could add anything let's go maybe this combination of a warp out shake so if i add it onto my first clip i've now got a distortion or glitchy like uh, shake effect i don't really know what to call it but it looks awesome so i'm going to apply it to my other clips as well so if i just highlight them and drag and drop there you go look how easy that was these effects use a combination of wave warp so this creates the glitch you can see my keyframes so 80 at the beginning and my other settings as well this one here uses position to make a x shake and remember no plugins are required at all so far so good i could consider it done however i'm gonna add some twitch shake so let's head back here and find the twitch shakes let's go vertical shake one does that work 
Sort of. I mean, of course it sort of works because that's the wrong effect. I was meant to add a Twitch Shake one, so let me add that. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. I think this effect specifically works best on an adjustment layer. So 5, 10, 15, 20 or less. It doesn't really matter. So if I just add it on to this one, I've now got this awesome Twitch Shake effect, which I could just copy and paste over to my other clips as well. Like so this one's a bit short, so I'm going to have to like to make some changes in a second. For now, I just add it to my other clips, which are a bit longer. So, for example, this one is a bit too short. So if I just add on the adjustment layer one more time and cut it down to 5, 10, 15 frames instead of 20, then add on Twitch Shake. Let's see how that looks. Hopefully it looks OK. Otherwise, I'm embarrassing myself. Awesome. If I just paste this over to my next clip as well. Yep, that looks awesome seems like I accidentally merged two clips here together into a single sequence so I'm just going to have to quickly paste this one as well just there now we've got another twitch shake last one as well right here oh and one more just there these are the kind of things you can do when you have presets you can make edits in just five minutes anyways thank you to my monthly supporters be on the lookout for a new project file which I will be releasing very soon peace